A Booker firefighter lifting the American flag from rubble left behind by Thursday's powerful and deadly tornado in Perryton tonight. Hundreds are responding and showing that true American spirit. At 6, we continue our coverage of a tornado that ripped through Perryton, leaving the city to pick up the pieces. The tornado touched down around 5 on Thursday, starting northwest of town and going through the central part of town. Officials have confirmed three are dead, around 70 injured. Officials tell us as of today, there is no longer anyone missing. Two of the women were that were killed in the, or in their 60s, Cindy Bransgrove and Becky Randall. Also killed in this tragedy, 11-year-old Matthew Ramirez. At last check, 3,600 customers are without power in the area. Multiple agencies from throughout the Texas Panhandle have been dispatched to help in the wake of the tornado. The temporary shelter at Perryton High School has been open all day with residents coming to get essential supplies. News Channel 10's Kelsey Davis is inside the shelter and gives us an update on what will continue to happen throughout the weekend. Kelsey. Greg, Lindsay, I'm here inside the temporary shelter at Perryton High School. Officials tell me that they will continue to keep the shelter open as long as there is a need. They also say that they will assess everything tomorrow to see how the weekend will roll out. Members of the community are continuing to give. As you can see from behind me, all of these waters have been donated throughout the day. Again, the temporary shelter is for residents who are in need of a place to stay, water, food, a hot shower, or even Wi-Fi. As always, we will continue to bring you the latest. In Perryton, Kelsey Davis, News Channel 10.